I have white boards, I use these. If I have black boards, I use these. Um, so I don't believe there's a single uh, most optimal or perfect uh, means of communicating uh, visual information to students. Uh, how, how did you come to use the Wacom pad? It has some advantages uh, that uh, I enjoyed. Um, uh, it's uh, they always work. I mean, frequently whiteboard pens that don't work very well. Uh, I'm not standing in front of the whiteboard when I write. That means that everybody can see what I'm doing. Uh, because of the, the, the brightness of uh, projectors, it's also much, much easier to see uh, in the, on the back row in a large auditorium. And also, uh, there are some nice extra features that I can erase things very easily. I can layer things, that means I can have several layers of illustration. That means I can have, uh, if, it's a, if it's a structure with many layers, I can remove them and put them back on uh, as a part of explaining. Which is very hard to do, if, if not impossible, with whiteboard. I have to constantly wipe and write and wipe and write. This is much, much easier electronically. The most important feature is perhaps that if I choose to, I can uh, upload the, uh, the, uh, what I've written uh, in a PowerPoint file afterwards. So that means that the students can have the notes as I wrote them and not their uh, often very stressed uh, uh, copy on their own paper. So uh, it means that they can relax a little bit and they can listen to what I say and uh, look at what I'm writing rather than frantically try to copy what I'm doing because that will completely shut off any uh, information they have from what I say. So uh, it, 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 uh, I'm getting to be quite happy about it. It gives a... Uh, um, uh, it's, it's, it's fun for the students and also it, uh, it calms the whole situation down so they can focus on, on, on their learning and not having to try to write faster than me. And you don't feel that the students get inactive when they are not uh, copying your writings? Uh, well, actually, no, because uh, I have, I'm, uh, I can sit like this and face them rather than standing with my back to them. So I can easily see how they are reacting and I can ask them questions. So while I'm looking at my screen, I don't have to turn away. Uh, I, can, I can say, so if I write something here, like this, this dot here, I'm now I'm writing, writing a circle here, and I can ask a student, so would you then think it would be a thermal reaction or, I mean, I can ask them questions about what I'm doing in a much more dialogue way. If I'm standing here explaining, I'll have to, to uh, do something like, like this here. I'm standing in front of what I'm writing. They can't see what I've written and I'm asking, I mean, it's the whole thing is, is actually quite more clumsy. So you have to be very good, a skilled whiteboard writer to, uh, to uh, sort of position yourself in a little bit uh, physiologically uh, <laughs> a difficult way in order to get the same kind of relaxed situation. And the nice thing is that uh, that they can take the important notes. Very typically in a, in a teaching situation, the students don't know yet what is the important thing to write down. And before they have figured it out, which is at the end of the explanation, the, the teacher will immediately wipe out what he wrote and go to the next. So just to be 100% sure they don't lose the important parts, they will write everything down. Okay? In this way, they know that they can go back because I'm saving for them, I'm saving the what the the, the, the the, the text I'm writing, I'm saving it on a, on a hard disk, so they don't have to, have to copy it. They, they know that they can later go back if there was something they missed, and they can concentrate on writing only the important things down. And this, uh, that is at least how I perceive uh, uh, the situation. And the few times I've used it, uh, the reviews have been very, very good. People have by far preferred the, uh, the, uh, the the writing thing, as they call it, as compared to the uh, to the whiteboard. And is that because of the distribution afterwards? Or? I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, I think they like the situation, uh, and uh, and and occasionally they are very happy about uh, uh, being able to go back and see what I wrote.
one thing I wonder about, when you are in an auditorium, you uh, typically have multiple blackboards which you can fill out and you can refer back to to board you wrote just a minute before. Here yes. you have only one screen. And but I'm still, I'm still your... using the blackboards uh, or the whiteboards for that. So if I have like a, a agenda or, or things I want to be sort of visible throughout the, uh, the lecture, I still use that. Mm. So it's just uh, uh, all these uh, tools uh, in the toolbox, they have uh, different uh, weaknesses and strength. And, uh, and things like an overhead projector or a blackboard where you put information that is to to, to stay throughout the lecture is, uh, is of course a good idea.